Okay, let me bring Michelle. Let me bring Emma in in South End on C because uh, I think Emma, you voted Leave originally too, didn't you? I did originally. Yeah. Yes. And have you um, changed your mind now? I actually changed my mind um, quite quickly after the result due to Mr. Farage's very honest admission about the um, vote leave pledge in regards to the frontline service and NHS funding. Being oh, the, the three hundred fifty million on the bus. Yeah, it was. I mean, I appreciate his honesty in. Um, saying less than 24 hours that it was a mistake but I'm um, a mother of children who have had quite severe medical conditions and I was very 50 50 during the referendum and that was one of the things that swayed me and also I think we'd stay in the single market so at the moment uh, I'm also very scared for the 5 million EU citizens in the UK and British citizens in the EU. So what do you say to, to Michelle who said, well, we voted leave. You were one of them, by the way, Emma. You voted leave. And now, why isn't leave happening? Well, I'd also like to ask, why is it that security that was promised to the five million hasn't been offered? They're having to apply to stay in their own homes. Only because you're looking at had you an opposition that stop every single transition of every single law that has been introduced since. You're looking at an opposition that regardless of what the issue is, they are going to oppose it. People so confess. Theresa May is at a standstill. She is People at confess. a standstill. Okay, Michelle, pause there. There's a slight delay on the line, so, so I apologise for that. Emma, go ahead. Respectfully. I do feel people come first. I never voted for people to be put in limbo. No one told me that during the referendum. No one told me that key vote pledge that I made was a lie. I'm uh, sorry, but why should I make others pay for my mistake? I think that's wrong. With the immigration bill, I'm so upset at disadvantages EU citizens get rights. Okay. That's wrong. 